Welcome, Sagittarius. All right, so give me a second. I hop right on and really, I'm super duper thirsty. <laughs> so I don't know, like all of a sudden, as soon as I click record, I just felt like uh, I'm thirsty. Somebody could be like super dehydrated, needs to drink water. <laughs> I'm just saying. Or somebody is just like thirsty. I'm getting thirsty. Okay, let's see. Like thirst trap. <laughs> okay, so give me a message for the Sagittarius. Yes, guys, I've been in my A for about <laughs> a month. Okay, but I'm getting settled in into my new place. So I'm back. Okay, so let's see what messages we got for the Sagittarius, please. Give me a message for Sagittarius. Give me a message for Sagittarius. All right, so we got this to be the one engagement and children. Okay. Tell me more. Oh, all right. We got soulmate, let go of control issues, and trust. At the bottom of the deck, we got true love, new love. So some of you, there's new love coming in for some of you. You could be, you could feel like this person could be the one. There's a lot of flirting going on as well. Like I feel like some of you are trying to. That was confirmation. <laughs> all right. So some of you are. I'm trying to th take things to the next level um, with someone or someone's trying to take things to the next level with you. Someone could want children or see themselves having children with you or you have children or your focus is on your children. But I feel like Someone that you're dealing with, like, you feel like this person is a soulmate. I'm getting, like, you're really connected to this person. And possibly their children or your children. Like, I'm getting, like, a, a family here. Yeah, there's a lot of attraction here, a lot of playful energy. Like, this energy is very youthful. This person could be younger than you or you younger than them. I feel like you two are getting ready to very soon getting to know each other. So it looks like um, in the near future, you and this person are going to be getting really, really close, like really, really acquainted, taking things to another level. You getting what you deserve. I'm seeing you put in a lot of effort. Yeah, a lot of effort to get to this level right here where a lot of passion is involved, okay? So, yeah, it looks like it looks like things are headed to, a ne to the next level or you're pushing to get things to the next level with this person. Okay, so let's get a read and let's see what's what. So what message do you have for the cancer? I'm sorry. Did I say cancer? I meant Sagittarius. Some of y'all must be dealing with the cancer. Okay. So give me a message for Sagittarius, please. Give me a message for Sagittarius. For the month of August. What's going on with the Sagittarius for the month of August? I see you being very patient. There's something that you want. That you foresee yourself taking action towards. It's something that you want. Okay. And you're being very patient. Um, but I feel like you're looking ahead at the future and on how to take action to get something that you want. Okay. Yeah. Like you're waiting to get closer to this person. I'm getting like you, you've been patient. 
okay? Or this person has been patient. I'm getting the next level, okay? Four of Wands. This is home life. This is marriage. This is next level, okay? And the Two of Cups here further lets me know that, you know, taking things to the next level, okay? Maybe you're waiting for this person to ask you something about taking things to the next level. And you're being very patient about this, okay? I see you being a little disappointed because possibly because this person is dragging their feet um, or you're tired of being patient, like you're losing patience, I'm seeing, okay? So let's see what's going on. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, yeah. See, you, this is like a fantasy relationship. Like with the Six of Wands and the Two of Cups, you feel like this connection is the perfect connection. Um, this is like a dream come true relationship for you. I don't see you wanting to leave this connection. Like you, you really do believe that this is a, a connection. Like this person, you and this person is meant to be. However, I feel you being a little disappointed because I'm getting like you're losing patience. Okay, so you're losing patience, possibly waiting on this person to reach out to you. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah, four of cups and eight of wands. Yeah. And the moon. You may feel like this person is keeping secrets. Maybe you feel like this person is a mystery. Yeah. You feel like this person is hiding something. Or you feel... I'm just getting like you don't feel completely secure in this connection. You feel like this person is hiding something. Okay, so why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Tower. You've been waiting on your chance, okay? You've been more than patient waiting on your chance, okay? Waiting on your opportunity. Maybe you've been stuck or feeling stuck or you're constantly thinking about this situation. But um, I'm getting that you're losing patience with this person. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. You're waiting for this, this connection to go to the next level. Yeah, I'm getting like you're waiting for this person to reach out to you. Some Something is just like maybe the process is moving too slow. Like, um, I feel like you're being, I just keep getting the feeling of you are losing patience with this situation. You feel like this person could be hiding things from you. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here in the past? Eight of Pentacles. I see you over here trying everything. You're doing everything possible. Like you really are going out of your way. Um, you're really going out of your way to show this person, you know, hey, I'm extremely interested. Why is the Knight of Wands here? And Star and the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're... Moving ahead, I see a lot of back and forth um, or um, a coming together. You're very hopeful for this. Like, you're extremely hopeful um, that this person comes around. Or, yeah, I see you spying on this person as well, too. You're spying on them. <laughs> Why is the Six of Pentacles here? 
This person that you're dealing with. This person that you're dealing with. They could feel like you're a little too controlling. Okay. Like you're trying to control the situation. This person is over here contemplating. Yeah, this person is really contemplating over here. Like, should they give you this type of control? I'm getting like this person is kind of like testing the waters to see like, is this safe for me to put my feet in? For some reason, I feel like this person could feel like you come off as kind of controlling. This is what their intuition is telling them. They're reliant heavily upon their intuition. They're relying heavily upon their intuition. Their intuition is telling them to wait. Their intuition is telling them to wait. So this is why this person has been dragging their feet. Yeah. They don't want... Okay. What I'm getting here is this person does not want to pretend or play mind games. Or, for, or they don't want to feel like... Uh, they're getting played or mind games are being played with them. Their intuition is telling them to wait. Don't move too fast. Tell me more about the three of wands. Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the earth sign. This person here could be going through financial issues. So this could be another reason why something's telling them to hold back and wait. Maybe they're working on their finances. Yeah, it's something about they feel, it's something about their point of view. We got the King of Cups and the Empress. It's something about their point of view here, especially with the hangman here. Okay, so they're looking at things from their point of view, their intuition. Their, this person is really relying upon their intuition. They could. This person could be an empath. Um, and they feel and they, you know, pay attention to every little detail. And I feel like this person could could feel as if maybe something that you said or done, you're coming off too strong. Maybe something that you said or done, you're coming off as controlling. So their intuition is telling them to wait because they got their own issues going on here. And it looks like it could be like in regards to their career or their finances that they are trying to handle. Um, and it's just the way that how they view themselves or how they view the situation. I'm looking at, they're looking at their own perspective. Okay. How they view something. So it's nothing personal. I feel like it's more so of them. Like they just don't want to rush things. Why is the queen of wands here? Yeah, see, you, in your hopes and fears, I'm getting like you feel like things should have been progressed by now, or you should be further ahead with this person by now. Yeah, I'm getting like maybe to get in the bedroom with the sun and the devil. This is definitely sexual energy. You feel like you should be further ahead with this person, or this person should be um, offering you this. Um, but I feel like this person could feel that. They could feel like... Definitely. This person, we got the hermit as well as the high priestess. This is someone who heavily relies on intuition. Um, and I'm getting like they feel like you're coming off really strong. Okay. This person here that you're dealing with, they aren't into mind games. They aren't into, you know, they're into doing things in an orderly fashion. Okay, now we got the Seven of Cups here as the outcome. Why the Page of Cups here? I'm seeing a lot of, of flirting going on, like a lot of, of messaging going on. Why is the Magician here? Yeah, I'm getting a decision being made as well. But realizing that someone here, someone here is too, um, I'm getting kind of like obsessed energy. 
uh, toxic, like the behavior pattern is a little toxic, as well as like you know, just the devil and the two of pentacles. Like, this is out of control. <laughs> Something here is just a little off about this situation. Why is the devil here? Could be dealing with the Capricorn, King of Swords. Yeah, see, someone's coming on too strong, someone's coming on too strong. I do see that you want things to move forward. You want things to progress. You want things to go in this. Uh, you want to see things go to the next chapter. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Ten of Wands, King of Wands, and the Sun. Okay, you could be dealing with the Leo. But it's something here that uh, someone's doing too much of. Someone's coming off as a burden. Okay. Someone wants more of a fun vibe, more of a friendly, fun vibe, and then see where things go. And then someone could be coming off a little too strong. Okay. So I'm not sure which energy is which. So... Play with the roles as need be, okay? So, let's get some advice. Well, before we get advice, let's see how this person feels about you or what they want to say to you. Yeah, I, I knew it. I'm getting like somebody's thirsty. Like, somebody is thirsty. That's why I got extremely thirsty before I did you guys read. Like, it was just like, oh, shoot. I can't, can't hardly even talk. Like, my throat is just like, <laughs> my throat chakra is just like, needs to be quenched. It's a little parched. <laughs> All right, so uh, what does Sagittarius what does Sagittarius uh, person wants to say to the Sagittarius? I want to tell you how I feel. So they do want to communicate with you. They are attracted to you. Okay. They are attracted to you. and But they just feel like timing. It's something about timing. It's not the right time. So it's not like this person isn't attracted or this person um, is like moving too slow. It's something about timing here. It's like the time is just not right. Like something about the time, timing. Yeah, this person does want you, okay? And the thing about it is too, this person knows exactly what they're doing. They're moving a certain way uh, on purpose, okay? Um, they do want to be around you. They do want you. They do feel attracted to you, but it's not the right time. Something here about not the right time. We got, I love you. Okay. So this person does care. Um, this person, they're working on themselves. Okay. So that's why the timing is off because they may not feel adequate enough. They may not feel, um, that they're enough. Okay in order to be on the same page as you, okay? So it looks like this person has some things that they're trying to work out within themselves before they get tied or invested into um, this connection full-heartedly, all the way. Yeah, this person is healing. This person is going through some type of healing, okay? So if you could be patient with this person, it does look like this person does want, you know, is attracted or in, and this person does want you, they love you, they care about you, but this person just must have just came out of something and they're trying to heal. They're trying to become a better them, okay? They're trying to level themselves up at this point. And it's something about the timing is like not right between you two. There's, it's about timing.
All right. Give me a message for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, you need to get more information about this person or about this situation. Okay, you don't have all the details. Yeah, Spirit is saying take action, but it's in the reverse. So no action is being taken. Okay, and there's something, some type of sign. Like this person may be giving you all the signs. Um, and I'm not sure if you are noticing the signs. Okay. Um, but take action is definitely in the reverse. So there's no action being taken. And I feel like this is this person's energy because there's more information that you need to get to know about this person. And then we got to look for a sign. Like, I feel like this person could be giving you clues or giving you signs. Like, you know, like maybe if they're saying like, okay, if it's, it's up to you, that could be a sign. Okay. Communicate clearly. Need to You need to be open and communicate clearly exactly what it is that you want. Now, it looks like, yes, yeah, see, look at this. Not the right time. I'm telling you, it's something about not the right time. It looks like this person uh, is in a state of needing help or needing some type of assistance or working on themselves, okay, and just is looking for someone to assist or help or they're trying to help them damn, their damn self, okay? Now, it looks like within the next few months, Okay, maybe things could become better if the communication becomes clear between you and this person. Yeah, see, we got success. Okay, success. So it looks like within the next few months, by communicating clearly what it is that you want, making sure that you and this person is on the same page, it looks like this connection can go further and it can be successful. But there are things and signs and things that I feel like maybe you're ignoring or you aren't, you know, really catching the signs. Um, and there's something that you get, you need to know more information about. Okay. So that's the message that I have for Sagittarius. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure you like and share and subscribe if you're new. As well, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, guys, you can donate to the channel to receive a personal reading. All of that is in the drop box below. Also, guys, be sure to check out my website, www.empressempireoils.com to get your all of your spiritual gear, okay? Um, and until next time. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.